America's next stealth fighter being developed to replace the F-22 actually emerged from a highly classified X-plane program the DoD conducted entirely in secret starting in 2015. That's what we just learned from remarks delivered by Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall at the Politico Defense Summit just yesterday. Now, we've known about the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD fighter, for some time now, but other than knowing that it's supposed to be the stealthiest fighter ever to fly, and that it's expected to fly alongside a bevy of AI-enabled drone wingmen, we don't really know much. And despite his best efforts not to share too many details, Frank Kendall just revealed more about where this fighter comes from, the relationship between the Air Forces and the Navy's sixth-generation fighter programs, and how a technology demonstrator for this new fighter had already flown by 2020 than we had ever known before. So let's briefly run through the updated NGAD timeline, taking these new revelations into account. We now know that the Next Generation Air Dominance program has roots that stretch back to 2014, when Frank Kendall, who was then the Undersecretary of Defense for Technology Acquisition and Logistics, commissioned a study for a new air superiority fighter. Now, this study was conducted by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, and soon came to be known as the Dominance Initiative. Over the span of about a year, DARPA explored the emerging technologies they believed could be required to produce a generational capability leap over the most advanced fighters in the sky today. And after that year, in 2015, they came back to the Pentagon with a list of recommendations. The Pentagon then used that list to launch the classified Next Generation Air Dominance X-Plane program. Now, X-Planes are experimental aircraft meant to demonstrate the feasibility of never-before-fielded technologies. Some past X-Planes include the X-15, which flew at Mach 6.7 with a pilot on board all the way back in the 1960s, or the X-43, which is, to this day, the fastest air-breathing jet-powered platform in history, with a top speed of Mach 9.6, and more recently, the X-35, which was designed to demonstrate how you could incorporate stealth, vertical landings, and supersonic flight all in a single aircraft. And the X-35 obviously went on to become the F-35. And now we know that the next generation air dominance fighter also got its start as just such an X-plane. Now that is an important distinction because more often than not, X-planes aren't necessarily intended to produce anything that could go into production. We usually call those Y-planes instead. But we now know that after DARPA, the Air Force, and the Navy teamed up to invest about a billion dollars into this classified X-plane program, that the prototypes that resulted were so capable that they convinced the Pentagon to roll this effort into serial production fighters. And the truth is, that actually sheds some light on one of the most confusing questions about this NGAD titling over the past few years. You see, the Air Force's new fighter to replace the F-22 is being developed under the name Next Generation Air Dominance, whereas the Navy's new fighter being developed to replace the F-A-18 is also being developed under the name Next Generation Air Dominance, though the fighter itself is usually referred to as FAXX. Now, initially, this led some to believe that the Air Force and the Navy are trying to field a single design that will work for both of their needs. But both branches have been very clear that that is not the case. They're not looking to repeat the mistakes they made with the F-35. So instead, analysts like me have largely assumed that this means that despite having different overall designs, these two sixth-generation fighters will share a number of modular systems in common. And to be clear, that's probably still the case. But now we know that both the Air Force and the Navy invested over $300 million of their own budgets into this next-generation air dominance X-plane program. And as a result, they both wanted to get their money's worth out of the title. 
Now, it's been all but confirmed that this classified X-plane program saw involvement from Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Boeing. In other words, all the big dogs in American fighter development. And it produced at least two, but maybe more, flying prototypes. Now, these prototypes definitely saw the sky prior to 2020. Because in 2020, Will Roper, a former Air Force acquisition executive, made headlines around the world when he revealed that a technology demonstrator related to the Air Force's NGAD fighter had not only already flown, but had broken records. Now, we still don't know what records he was referring to, but we can now safely assume that the technology demonstrator he was referring to was actually a prototype X-plane from this classified X-plane program. Now, earlier this year, Northrop Grumman publicly bowed out of the Air Force's NGAD competition, but they stated plainly that they are still competing for the Navy's FAXX contract, and the rumor is that they may have the inside track. That means the Air Force's NGAD competition is now down to Lockheed Martin and Boeing's design proposals. And while Lockheed Martin does have far more experience in fielding operational stealth aircraft, Boeing actually does have stealth chops that stretch so far back, they actually predate the F-117. The Air Force intends to announce a contract decision early next year, but the truth is, no matter what firm ends up designing the piloted aircraft at the heart of the NGAD family of systems, it's all but certain that all three of the prime contractors will play a significant role in the production of this aircraft, just as they have in past efforts like with the F-35. It's also very important to keep in mind that the CCA, or Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program, intended to field the AI-enabled drone wingman that will fly alongside this new fighter has not even officially commenced. Now, of course, there has already been a great deal of effort put toward this end, including the Air Force's Skyborg Initiative and Project Venom that's adding AI co-pilots to F-16s in Florida as we speak, not to mention Boeing's Australia-led Ghost Bat program, Kratos's XQ-58A Valkyrie, and DARPA's Alpha Dog flight trials that pitted AI agents against real fighter pilots in simulated dogfights. All of these efforts will co less in the CCA program that's slated to begin just as soon as Congress can get its act together and pass a 2024 defense budget.